You can find all the resources and explanation PDF below in the description. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to support my journey. There are some important things to consider when addressing case studies, which I want to mention before going into details. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the structure of the case study well, as we won't have much time to repeatedly read it during the exam. Once we understand the structure and industry of the case study, for example, whether it's gaming, manufacturing or healthcare, we can more easily apply Google's architectural best practices to the case study. While handling this case study, we will address it according to its characteristics. However, during the exam, it's important to focus on what the question is asking. Therefore, pay attention to key areas in the question, such as security, reliability, cost-effectiveness, performance optimization, and operational excellence. After thoroughly understanding the case study, you can map the most suitable services from the Google Cloud platform for this study. You can download the Helicopter Racing League HRL case study from the Google's exam link. You can find the link in the descriptions as well. Let's start with reading the company overview. Helicopter Racing League, HRL, is a global sports league for competitive helicopter racing. Each year, HRL holds the World Championship and several regional league competitions where teams compete to earn a spot in the World Championship. HRL offers a paid service to stream the races all over the world with live telemetry and predictions throughout each race. HRL is an international helicopter racing league that hosts annual world championships and regional competitions. They are offering a paid global streaming service with live telemetry and race predictions, which means that they perform data processing for live telemetry and they use AI ML data models for predictions. Moving on with their existing technical environment. Let's move step by step. HRL is a public cloud-first company. The core of their mission-critical applications runs on their current public cloud provider. HRL uses a public cloud provider, other than Google Cloud, to run its essential applications. Video recording and editing is performed at the racetracks, and the content is encoded and transcoded, where needed, in the cloud. When races happen, videos are recorded and edited directly at the racetracks. This is done using specialized equipment. Once the videos are ready, they are sent to the cloud to be encoded, converted into a digital format, and transcoded, converted into different formats to be compatible with various devices. Enterprise-grade connectivity and local compute is provided by truck-mounted mobile data centers. At the racetracks, they use truck-mounted mobile data centers. These are like portable, powerful computers and networking equipment set up in trucks. These mobile data centers provide high-speed internet and computing power locally at the racetracks, ensuring everything runs smoothly during events. Their race prediction services are hosted exclusively on their existing public cloud provider. Their existing technical environment is as follows. Existing content is stored in an object storage service on their existing public cloud provider. Video encoding and transcoding is performed on VMs created for each job. Race predictions are performed using TensorFlow running on VMs in the current public cloud provider. All the video content and related media are stored in a cloud storage service provided by their current cloud provider. HRL uses TensorFlow, a machine learning platform running on virtual machines, VMs, in the cloud to predict race outcomes. These predictions are not real-time, meaning they can't predict things during the race itself. Also, they can't handle analysis over the entire racing season. HRL wants to migrate their existing service to a new platform to expand their use of managed AI and ML services to facilitate race predictions. Additionally, as new fans engage with the sport, particularly in emerging regions, they want to move the serving of their content, both real-time and recorded, closer to their users. Migration to Google Cloud HRL plans to move their current services to Google Cloud. This migration aims to leverage Google Cloud's advanced features, such as managed AI and ML services, to improve race predictions and overall service delivery. Managed AI and ML services. HRL wants to expand the use of AI and machine learning to enhance their race prediction capabilities. This includes predicting race outcomes, mechanical failures, and crowd sentiment in real time during the races. 
Content delivery improvements. To provide a better viewing experience, especially for fans in emerging regions, HRL aims to serve both live and recorded content closer to their users. This will be achieved by using Google Cloud's Content Delivery Network, CDN, which reduces latency and ensures high-quality streams. HRL's owners want to expand their predictive capabilities and reduce latency for their viewers in emerging markets. Expand predictive capabilities. HRL wants to improve their race prediction capabilities. This includes predicting race results, mechanical failures, and crowd sentiment both during and before races. This is possible with Google Vertex AI, which was AI platform as its older name, will be used to build and deploy machine learning models for predictions. Also, it can be possible with BigQuery ML for real-time predictions. Their requirements are Supportability to expose the predictive models to partners. Exposing predictive models. They aim to make their predictive models available to partners. This means sharing their AI and ML insights with other entities that might benefit from this data. Apogee is the first answer to this because it's a full-featured product designed for API consumption across teams, partners, organizations, and even ecosystems per Google Cloud documents. Increase predictive capabilities during and before races, race results, mechanical failures, crowd sentiment. Increase telemetry and create additional insights. Enhance telemetry and insights, increasing the collection of telemetry data and generating additional insights from it. Telemetry refers to the automated data collection from the race events, which can then be analyzed. I think we can say that a real-time data processing pipeline is needed for this requirement, and we need Cloud Pub Sub Cloud Dataflow Cloud BigQuery for that. Measure fan engagement with new predictions. Measure fan engagement. HRL wants to measure how fans engage with the new predictive features. This involves tracking and analyzing viewer interaction and feedback. Enhance global availability and quality of the broadcasts. Improve global availability and quality, enhancing the global availability of their broadcast content and ensuring high quality of service, especially in emerging markets. This aims to reduce latency and improve the viewing experience. For me, this can be possible with high availability, with multi-regional architecture, global load balancing, cloud storage, cloud CDN, Increase the number of concurrent viewers. Increase concurrent viewers. They aim to support a larger number of concurrent viewers. This means the system should be scalable to handle more viewers watching the races simultaneously. Minimize operational complexity. Minimize operational complexity. Simplifying their operations by moving to more managed services to reduce the complexity of their IT infrastructure. Ensure compliance with regulations. Regulatory compliance. Ensuring compliance with various regulations, such as data protection laws, e.g. GDPR. Create a merchandising revenue stream. Create a merchandising revenue stream. Developing a new revenue stream through merchandising, possibly by integrating an e-commerce platform or similar solution into their services. If the new revenue stream is by the e-commerce platform, you will need Google CDN, Google DNS, and Global Load Balancer for your front end, and most probably GKE for the back end clusters. Technical requirements. Maintain or increase prediction throughput and accuracy. Maintaining or increasing the throughput and accuracy of their predictive models. Reduce viewer latency. Lowering the latency experienced by viewers to provide a more real-time viewing experience. Increase transcoding performance. Improving the performance of video transcoding to handle more video formats and resolutions efficiently. Create real-time analytics of viewer consumption patterns and engagement. Creating real-time analytics to understand viewer consumption patterns and engagement. Create a data mart to enable processing of large volumes of race data.
building a data mart to process and analyze large volumes of race data. This would help in storing and querying extensive datasets effectively. Finally, let's check some of Google's use cases for BigQuery, Cloud CDN, and Video On Demand. This is the BigQuery page. If we directly click on Common Uses, we can see how to configure BigQuery for various scenarios. Real-time data analysis may be needed, so it's crucial to understand this design. We also mentioned this process in the data lifecycle video, and we're linking that video here. For this specific use case, we need BigQuery for both data analysis and ML processes, so this chart is as important as the previous one. Moving on to Cloud CDN, by jumping into the common use cases, you can see designs for Cloud CDN. I believe the VoD streaming design is the most important one for this specific scenario. Next, Video On Demand. VOD, is really important for this scenario, which includes common use designs for both the Transcoder API and the live streaming API. Lastly, I feel it's important to understand the differences between Apigee, Cloud Endpoints, and API Gateway. As you can see here, for most customers running complex or high-scale applications, we suggest considering Apigee first, because it's a full-featured product designed for API consumption across teams, partners, organizations, and even ecosystems. That's all. Please let me know if you want to add anything else. Thanks for watching this video.